So Super Bowl 55 in the books. Tampa Bay Bucks. Congrats to them. Tom Brady, seventh Super Bowl. Um, if I'm if I'm going to be honest, this has probably been this had to be one of the least entertaining Super Bowls. I mean, from top to bottom. From top, the game was a blowout pretty much. Uh, 31 to nine. It you know in the second half it never really got close. Uh, the Chiefs did not have it. The halftime show, uh, the weekend, if you ask me, I thought was brutal. I thought it was the longest 15 minutes of my life. It, it was just not good. And then the commercial sucked. Outside of that one uh, shaggy Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis commercial, they all sucked. Um, game. Let's get to the game. Tom Brady won his seventh. You know, go. Everyone's giving him all the credit. Well deserves. Dude's old. He's 44. Um, me, I'm the kind of guy that's going to say it how it is. Uh, you, you hear the talking heads, like uh, the big statement that, uh, who was it, uh, Boomer Esiason made. Oh, you, you got to give, you know, if there was a co-MVP of the Super Bowl, Tom Brady won the MVP. Uh, if there was a co-MVP, it'd be Todd Bowles. Because those guys don't want to take flack for saying, like, okay, Tom Brady wasn't really the, the big reason they won the Super Bowl. It was their defense. Uh, and it was. Like, I'll say it. I don't care. I'm going to get some flack on YouTube, get some negative comments saying I'm a Brady hater. It is what it is. Tom Brady had a had a good game. He wasn't outstanding. He took what the Chiefs defense gave him. And for the tune of 200 yards and three touchdowns, they won the Super Bowl. He's got seven. He's got rings. He almost has two hands, two full hands worth of rings. So, but that defense, Dom, they made it so uncomfortable for Patrick Mahomes. Apparently, Patrick Mahomes was dealing with some sort of toe issue. Didn't help that his offensive line, this makeshift offensive line that they made after Eric Fisher got hurt uh, against the Bills, just stunk. Like, I don't know how some of these gay guys are even in the NFL. Like, I think, uh, especially, I, I think their right tackle bumped over to left tackle, or they, they kept saying that it was two new tackles. So, I don't know who the left tackle was, but he probably should not be in the NFL. Patrick Mahomes on like 49 dropbacks, got pressured, I think, and this isn't an exaggeration, got pressured 30 times. I'm going to give Patrick Mahomes credit. He had a, he had a bad game, but I, I, I don't think too many people could have had a good game with what he was dealing with. He was constantly under pressure. Uh, he had to get out of the pocket. He made some plays just to get the ball off and to not take sacks that were crazy. Most other quarterbacks, honestly, unless it was like Lamar Jackson or something like that, um, like I said, he got pressured 30 times. He only got sacked twice. Most other quarterbacks not named Lamar Jackson probably would have been sacked at least eight times today. That's how bad the Chiefs' offensive line was. So bad. Um, I felt bad for Mahomes because, honest to God, he didn't really have a chance. And then defensively for the Chiefs, like, I'm, like before halftime, I mean, when, when Tyron Matthew, I'm going to say the moment when Tyron Matthew got the taunting penalty after Tom Brady threw a touchdown on him. He got the taunting, but he's like sticking his finger in Tom Brady's face. He got the taunting penalty. After that, that defense was done. It looked like they did not want to be there anymore. They couldn't do anything to stop any facet. Because uh, Tom Brady, even though the commentators are like, oh, play action was really open up the passes downfield. He threw two passes. He completed two passes downfield. One to Mike Evans, who was running uh, wide open across the middle of the field, um, who caught it, you know, it was a 15-yard pass. He threw one down the seam to Gronk for like 20. Everything else was just, okay, very well designed by Byron Leftwich. Little slip screens by Gronk, running back, no one picking him up, everyone dropping in. It was it was great. Uh, the Bucks defense, like I said, go back to Todd Bowles, was getting pressure on Patrick Mahomes, and they weren't blitzing too much. Like, they did blitz occasionally, but, like, they're up front, and it was the same thing that was happening to Green Bay two weeks ago. JPP and Shaq Thompson were really, really, or Shaq, Shaq Thompson, Shaq Barrett, whichever Shaq it was, really, really good. Shaq Barrett, really, really good. Like, they were just getting pressure. They were a problem. They were a problem. They were a problem in the NFC Championship game. They were a problem this day. That defense was great. Um, Gronk had two touchdowns. You know, he was able to catch a couple touchdowns, so good for that dude. You know, I, I, I really do like Gronk. Um, he's the man, so the fact that he could come back out of retirement, didn't want to play New England, gets to go to 
play in, uh, in Tampa, gets to play under Bruce Arians, comes out of retirement, catches two touchdowns in the Super Bowl. He wasn't, like, great this year, but um, he saved his probably one of his better performances for the Super Bowl. Don't expect anything less from Gronk. You know, next year, if they could keep all these pieces, I don't know what their salary cap looks like in terms of the Bucks. You know, can they keep Godwin? Can they keep Evans? Can they keep Brown? Uh, can they keep Gronk and Bray? You know, can they keep that defense together? They have some nice young pieces. Like, I don't think they need to re-sign um, Devin White, who's very, very good. Uh, Levante David, you know, he's he's good. Uh, Antoine Winfield Jr., the rookie, really, really good. Like, they have some good young pieces. And, like, their defense was good last year with Jameis throwing 38 interceptions. Like, their defense was good last year. It was even better this year when you have a guy like Tom Brady who doesn't really put the ball in harm's way too much. Uh, and he's not trying to hit the home run every play. He's built a career on taking what the defense gives him. And again, he did that today. And he got his seventh Super Bowl. So, I'll, I mean, I say it all the time. Like, there are so many quarterbacks that are more physically gifted than Tom Brady. But jokes on everyone that says that. Because this dude with less physical gifts, less, less physical talent, has seven Super Bowls. Because he understands this is what the defense is doing. This is what I have. I'm going to take what I have. I'm going to keep it moving. And I'm going to keep myself in a position to keep the game close and win it when I need to win it. Seven Super Bowls. Can't hate on it. Can't hate on it. I hate on it a little um, because I really think that uh, the Packers, it, this kills me because, you know, I watched the whole thing thinking, damn, Packers would have really lit up this defense just like the Bucks did. Really, still a little bit salty. Still a little bit salty that the Packers, uh, the Packers, did not get over the Tampa Bay hump. Even though I thought they could have, they had plenty of opportunities too, and I could have been here celebrating a Super Bowl as a Packers fan. But I'm not. Tampa, Tampa, seven Super Bowls. The Chiefs, uh, Mahomes, he'll be back with a vengeance. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, he's the odds-on favorite early on in the offseason to win the MVP next year. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes out and wins the MVP next year. Uh, everything was going so well for Mahomes. And this was honestly like the first little bit of negative pushback that he's received on a, on a grand scale. You make it to the Super Bowl and you lose. Like I said, his first year starting, he came in 50 touchdowns MVP. Um, lost a heartbreaker in the, in the AFC Championship game to the Patriots. Uh, not really his fault. He did everything he could have in that game last year. Wins the Super Bowl this year. Loses the Super Bowl. Does not look good doing it. Not totally his fault because, again, he was under so much pressure. I think he's going to come in so focused and with such a chip on his shoulder next year that I would be very surprised if he doesn't win the MVP and if the Chiefs don't end up back in the Super Bowl because that's how good Patrick Mahomes is. And for the Bucks, if they could keep this... If they could keep... Um, they keep the team together. I think they're going to have a good chance. Obviously, you know, the Saints are going to take a step back. Don't know who their quarterback is. The Rams might take a step forward because now they have Matt Stafford. Uh, the Packers, as a fan, I don't know how they're going to look because I hate the move that they just did firing Mike Pettin to bring in Joe Barry or whatever the hell his name is. I don't know. So, uh, I mean... And, and their their front office hasn't shown the ability to actually make the team better um, through, you know, the draft and whatnot. They're, they're very salary cap strapped. So I don't know how they're going to be. So the NFC, it looks like it might be the Bucks for the taking early on next year if they can keep this team together. Uh, the defense and the receiving core and all the weapons they have. I don't know their cap situation again. But season's over. Season is over. But the off season starts again. Season officially starts in March sometime, and there are still some big moves. So this season ends. New season coming up soon, and we got some big guys on the trading block. Carson Wentz, Deshaun Watson, where will they end up? Matt Stafford already has a new home. So as much as I'm sad to see the NFL season end, I'm just as excited to see what all these quarterbacks, what the carousel is going to be like, the rookies coming in, the draft. It's great. Congrats to Tom. Sorry for Patrick. Is what it is. Don't know when I'll see you guys again, but you can assure that I'll be here in my car. So, if you're a Bucks fan, enjoy celebrating the Super Bowl. 
you deserve it. As a Packers fan, I'm just gonna go, gonna go cry because this could have been, this, this could have been a, I could have been celebrating the Super Bowl. Could have been Aaron Rodgers. Could have had two. Could have had two. Could have had two. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Probably not though. Probably, probably not. Probably not.